Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we are ranking more things. Uh, today we're doing Pixar films. So, so far in this sort of mini-series, uh, we've done every Disney animated film, every DreamWorks animated film. Uh, so go watch those two, link up uh, in the corner if you haven't seen them. Uh, and today we're continuing with Pixar films ranked. So, Taylor's here, every Pixar film, we're going to go through and rank them. Um, before we get into this, if there's any more of these sorts of rankings you'd like to see, uh, do let me know in the comments. I've had a couple of suggestions already uh, of things to rank, so do let me know and I'll get onto them. And if I use them, which I probably will, uh, I'll, I'll credit you in the video. You'll get a little mention. So that there's the motivation to do it. Uh, we're doing it in chronological order, starting, of course, with Toy Story. Now, I've got to think, how am I ranking these? Am I ranking them off how good they are as a film? Or, like, what they meant as a film? Because Toy Story, it, it has to go S tier. Um, because it's Toy Story. However, what it's not the best film, but I think what it was, being the first computer animated feature length film, uh, and starting off the Toy Story franchise, obviously we're getting a fifth one on that video up there. Um, it, I think it has to go S tier. Uh, Bugs Life. Yeah. Okay, it's Bugs Life, isn't it? I, I, it it's Bugs Life. Um, like, yeah, it's alright. It's... But Bugs Life is one of those films that I didn't see a whole lot growing up. Didn't really grow up with. So, my opinion on it now is that it exists, I guess. It's a film. But but I, I don't have a nostalgic tie to this film. Therefore, let me talk you through the tiers that I'm thinking. So, S is obviously greatest ever. Incredible. Love it. A is you are a very good film. B is, yeah, I feel indifferent towards you. You, I, I'd watch you, uh, but I wouldn't go, oh, please, can we watch this? C is like, oh, God. Oh god, I'd have to be forced to watch this film. And D is you, you I'm not watching it. D is D is you, you, I I wouldn't mind if this film was never made. Which I doubt there are any of. I don't think there are mm, no, nope, I lied. Okay. Um <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on. Toy Story 2 now. If again, I said this in both videos I've done so far of this format. If I'm ranking the tiers, this film would be top of S tier because it's Toy Story 2. And Toy Story 2 is not only better than, like, miles better than Toy Story 1, but probably the best Pixar film of all time. I love Toy Story 2. It's got all the best moments of Toy Story in it. It's when we see Jesse and Bullseye and that lot. The whole airport scene is incredible. Toy Story 2, and I grew up with Toy Story 2. It's, it's, it's nostalgia heavy for me, so S tier. Monsters, Inc. Oh, this is... Right. What you'll see, what you'll notice about these, right, is early Pixar is pretty much all S tier. Um, Monsters, Inc. Incredible, incredible film. Um, it's just a classic. Like, there are, there are four, maybe five Pixar films that are classic. And, like, you, you, this... This like again, we got another one here, Nemo. Like the, I know it's a boring answer, but it's going in S tier. I don't know what to tell you. It's it's Finding Nemo. Those like this four. We've already got a very strong. Let's just get this one right. I can't be that. Let's just get these over with uh, of these next few films because they're all S tier. Um, one more in S tier. Right there we go. Let's get them out of the way because I'm not going through and talking about every single one individually. This set of films here is top tier Pixar. I don't think, maybe some others, I don't think so. These incredible films, they all come out one after the other. Pixar were just banging out film after film, all of which remarkable, well done. Uh, oh, Ratatouille. Now, Ratatouille's a good film. So I'm going to put it in A tier. Now, I know a lot of people like really hold this film on like a, in like a really high, uh, like a high place. But my problem, and again, this is more personal than like actually the film itself. My younger brother rinsed this film growing up. Like any time we watch a film, he put Ratatouille on. So it's kind of got a place in my like 
nostalgia brain that's like, oh, do we have to fucking watch this rap cook again, please? Uh, so it's a good film, but it's not quite S tier. Wally, unfortunately, and this is going to be controversial. Wally's never really resonated with me. Uh, again, I don't think I watched it that much growing up, but again, the theme's very good. I love the concept of it, the opening, uh, the opening song bit, looking, that's really cool. But the film, growing up and still now, never really resonated with me. Uh, up. Well, well, well. Oh, this is difficult. Let me talk to you why this is difficult. So, everyone says Up is this great God-tier film. I'm going to get hate for this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, Up is a great Pixar short with a mediocre adventure story tied at the end of it. That's my take on Up, I'm afraid. Um... Like, yes, the opening with the whole Carl and Ellie relationship, everything that happens in that, great, great film. That that bit, amazing, emotional, well done, good story, amazing. As soon as it gets to modern day, it's a very mediocre adventure story with really, like, type, not type, what's the word I'm looking for here? We're really, like, archetypal characters of all the old man that doesn't want to go on the journey, doesn't want to help the young kid that's like, oh, I can help. And it's like without that, if you take away the first ten minutes so do I put it in there and be controversial? Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, Toy Story 3 sorry, oh god, I absolutely bottled that. Uh, Toy Story 3 again, uh, I think it has to be S tier. It's Toy Story what do you want me to say? And and don't worry that or not the, the the other Toy Story we'll talk about when we get it. But all three of the of the the, the like the trilogy of Toy Story films, if you exclude the fourth one, they're all very good. They are all very good. Things. And I feel like Toy Story three wrapped up perfectly. It was like my sort of age group was just the right age to have grown up with Toy Story films. Uh, and then when Toy Story three came out, we were like the age that Andy, like near enough the age Andy, where you're like forgetting toys and but. So the whole thing just, it, it was emotional, it's great. Lotso is a villain, it, it's the whole thing. Uh, Buzz in Spanish mode, yeah, good funny, I guess. Cars 2, now, I think this has the reputation in like top, in like bottom three Pixar films of all time, and it kind of does, uh, I, I get that. Can I put it in, this film could not exist and I wouldn't care. Can I put it, I, I can't put it in D. <coughs> well, I never. Can I put it in C? What did I say C was? Like, I would never suggest... <sighs> right. Now, let me justify it, because I think this is a good drunk film. I think Cars 2 is a good drunk film. It would probably be at the bottom of B if we were organising it, but I'm putting it in B, and fight me if you want. Brave. Brave is our first C tier. Now, my problem with Brave... Um, doesn't feel like a Pixar film, does it? Um, I, I often forget it's a Pixar film. It's not a Disney film. It's just a bit... Like, I don't... Uh, uh, there are some fun moments in it. It's just a bit... Uh, Monsters University get in S tier. This is the greatest example of a prequel done right. Monsters University is I maybe the best example of a prequel. What are you gonna say? Star, the, the the prequel trilogy of Star Wars is famously or like famously hated. Um, maybe overhated. Oh, Star Wars films. There we go. That's the next one. Uh, Monsters University though, amazing. It all comes together. Great story. Well in. I love Monsters University. Inside Out. Uh, I'm put it in A. It's not quite S. But, you know what? Um, I think it deals with mental health very well. I think the characters are fun. I think the story's great. The way they deal with the brain working in a physical way is very cool. The memory things. Everything about Inside Out is just done so perfectly. And I know we're getting Inside Out 2, uh, of which 
a vast majority of the cast is not coming back for, so that'll be interesting. Uh, but, yeah, Inside Out, good film. Uh, the Good Dinosaur, oh, God, would do... Oh, actually, is it a D? Maybe it's a D tier, because it's actually god-awful. I just want to get the size right, because I'm very particular. There we go. Yeah, The Good Dinosaur has to be D tier. It's, 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 it's like the most... It's one of those things where it's the go-to answer of what's the shittest film? They're like, oh, yeah, well, Good Dinosaur. But there's a reason. It's just misguided. It doesn't look very good. The animation's all over the place. Sometimes you'll have the dinosaurs looking janky and weird and plain. And then the water animation's really accurate and really lifelike. And it just doesn't go together well. They get high and eat mushrooms and shit. Strange fucking film. Strange film. Finding Dory. Uh, oh, it's an E-tier, isn't it? Because I wouldn't... Oh, but would, would I have suggest watching Finding Dory? I don't think I can put it in C tier, but I think it would be with Cast 2 at the bottom. It wasn't needed, as most sequels are, I guess. Um, it just wasn't needed. Kind of worked. Ty Burrell as the Beluga Whale was great. And uh, all the new characters we met, I really enjoyed. Uh, I loved the seals. Becky was quite funny. Uh, the Beluga Whale and the Whale Shark, or whatever they were. Hank, great. Uh, I just don't think it was that needed. But, you know... Money, isn't it? Cars 3. Same, I think. Or maybe... Oh, is it the bottom of A? I have watched the Cars trilogy recently. I think those are probably the freshest Pixar films in my mind. Oh, I want to put it maybe bottom of A. It's better than Cars 2. I'm going to leave it there for now. I might change my mind at a later date. Uh, Coco is a good film. Uh, I don't think it's the holy grail of Pixar, like people seem to say it is. Uh, but, but it's a good film. It is, it is a very good, very well done film. Uh, but I don't think it's the holy grail that people say. Incredibles 2, again, yeah. It's... Yeah. It was good, I guess. It was fine. It was a film. It was good, yeah. Well, well in Incredibles 2. Uh, now, Toy Story 4, going to have to put it here, and this is going to be controversial, let me talk, well, let, it would be bottom of A, borderline B, but the problem is, is I love Toy Story, I, I am a complete bias to Toy Story, uh, the only real problem I have with this film is that Buzz and the rest of the, like, legacy characters, if you will, uh, so like Buzz, Ham, Potato Head, Rex, that lot, Kind of got completely sidelined uh, for this Woody and uh, Woody and Bo story, which maybe I'm okay with. I don't know. It's fine. It was a film. I really liked what I, I liked most of what they did. I just wish the Buzz had a bit more to do. Um, yeah, Toy Story Five is a thing for some unknown reason to me. Onward, uh, oh, onward to be in it. Onward to be. Because it's fine, but again, it's kind of like Up, where it's good concept, terrible execution, but I would probably watch it. It's just not one of my favourites. It's one of anything, I'll be honest, the next few, the last few films we've got here are all a bit naff. Soul's quite good. I enjoyed Soul. Um, I, remember, I just remember watching Soul. It came out on Christmas Day, well, like 2020, 2019, 2020, I don't know. 2020, probably. Uh, and we watched it as a family, and it was fun. Was it? Can I remember it? No. Is it fun? Or is it B? Maybe it's B. That's outrageous. Sorry. Change my mind. It was meh. Luca. Same. You're good. The st it was, oh, it was one of those films where the whole just led up to winning a fucking Vespa race. And not being found out that you were a sea monster. Concept. Sure. Execution. Maybe try again later. Uh... Usually, when I do these videos, uh, I do a what films haven't I seen. Uh, I'd seen all bar one of these, and I just realised when I'm looking in the list of, like, posters to get on it. Uh, Turning Red, I have not seen yet. I will watch... I, I, will I watch it? I probably won't watch it. I don't really want to. I want to, so I've seen them all. Maybe I will. Uh, so the final film here, you've probably worked it out already, is Lightyear. It's B. But it would be top of B. It would be top of B. 
Now, I've got a lot to say about Lightyear because it was one of those films that, like, the concept was so promising for it. Like, we're getting the film that Andy saw that made him want to buy a Buzz Lightyear toy. Great. Uh, and then we got a mess, kind of. I was on board with it. So I did, I did see it in cinema and I was on board with it. Until a certain point, uh, spoilers for Buzz Light for for Lightyear in three, two, one. Spoilers alert. Uh, I was I was on board until Zerg was Buzz, and then I was like, "Well, way to just shit on the franchise." Then, like, if you don't know, so Lightyear, the whole thing is it's about Buzz Lightyear uh, becoming famous, which he didn't even really do, so I don't really understand what's going on. Um, but he crash lands on planets and build shit and time travels or something. Uh, then he come up against Zerg. And obviously watching this, we're like, we're like, oh my God, we're going to see Buzz's dad. And it's going to be a whole, I am your father. No. No. So Zerg is just Buzz that grew old. Instead of time traveling. I don't know either. It was a shit move. Uh, just follow the source material. It's not that hard. Uh, but yeah, that is my ranking of every Pixar film. It's very top-heavy, so well done, Pixar. Um, so if you did enjoy this and are enjoying these kinds of videos, do let me know. Uh, also, you can subscribe. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Subscribe. Because uh, I'm going to try and do uh, like at least one of these every week, uh, along with, obviously, my music... music the, uh, uh, my usual musical reactions and other Muppety or fandomy videos thrown in here and there. Uh, like the video, let me know what you want me to rank next. I'm thinking Marvel, Star Wars, and then I'm lost. I need help. Harry Potter films, maybe? I don't know. Either way, um, let me know. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.